ladies and gentlemen. We're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video. I'm Coach Spivey, joined with my son Jordan Spivey, and today in this video we're going to be talking about trophic levels and energy transfer. So let's begin. So let's first talk about a food chain. And in a food chain, the energy flow from one trophic level to the next is a food chain. Producers are at their first energy level. So those producers receive the sunlight and they receive their water and carbon dioxide to actually produce and make food for themselves. And then primary consumers are at the second level. And then secondary consumers are at the third level. Then we have the tertiary consumers that are going to be at their fourth level. And then we have the decomposers that break down those dead or decaying materials, organic materials, and then put them back in the soil and they are used as nutrients for the grass and to help the grass and the producers to grow. So here's that entire food chain right here. So a food web is multiple food chains. So if you look, you have multiple food chains going in, going in this picture right here and you show and you see multiple ways where one organism is eating another organism and then that organism gets eaten by another organism. Notice that the organism at the very top, which is the eagle, no other organism feeds on the eagle because it's a tertiary consumer. Then we take a look at trophic levels. It's the position an organism occupies in a food chain. It refers to the food they eat and what organisms feed on them. So if you notice, producers are always going to be at the bottom of a food chain, followed by herbivores, which are the organisms that eat the producers. And then you have your primary carnivore, which eats the herbivores. And then you have your top carnivore or your tertiary consumer, which it eats the primary consumer and no other organisms usually eats that top tertiary consumer. So let's take a look at this chart and you're going to fill in the following trophic level using your knowledge of feeding relationships. So for example, if you look at the grass, you're going to look at the energy level that the grass occupies and is it going to be that first, second, third or fourth energy level? So we know the grass occupies that first energy level and then what type of relationship is it what type of organism it is it is a producer in the trophic levels so go ahead and take about a minute to fill out the information for the owl mouse and the grasshopper and i'll come around to you there to check and make sure that you're understanding the learning so now let's take a look at transfer of energy and the transfer of energy as you move up from each trophic level is very small. Only 10% of that energy is transferred as you move up because 90% of it is lost due to heat. So if you notice, the producers have 100% of the energy. This grasshopper, when it eats the producers or eats that grass, only receives 10% of that energy and 90% of its energy is lost due to heat because it's moving around. And then the secondary consumer, this mouse that eats this grasshopper, only receives 1% of the energy and it loses a lot of energy due to heat or 90%. And then this owl or this tertiary consumer only gets 0.1% of the energy after it eats this mouse. So as we go up our trophic levels, the amount of energy that's received by the organism above is decreased by 90% and it only receives about 10% of that energy. That's why we have 100, 10%, 1%, 0.1%. So here's another look at our energy pyramid. And you notice there's 10,000 joules of energy down here at the bottom with the producers. And then we move up. The primary consumers only receive 10% of that energy. If we take 10,000 and multiply it by 0.10, then we only get 1,000 joules of that energy for the primary consumers. And then look at our secondary consumers. They only receive 10% of that energy from our primary consumers. And then if we look at our third consumers, they only receive 10% of that energy from our secondary consumers. And then if we look at our top tertiary consumers, they only receive 10% of that energy from our third consumers. So as you, you notice, as you go up, less and less of that energy is being transferred because large amounts of it is being released due to heat. Plus you have small amount of energy that's being received by the organism as you go above. Now it's time for your check for understanding and you're going to answer the following questions by analyzing the energy pyramid and using your knowledge of energy transfer. I'll come around to each one of your desks to ensure that you're learning the material. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Coach Spivey, sign off my son Jordan Spivey, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. 
Peace, and y'all have a wonderful, awesome, positive day.